I'm Anil Kumar and we will explore patterns in this particular application. The question is, vehicles are parked in a multi-layer parking lot as shown in the table below. Explain the patterns and then find the number of wheels at the level 4. Let's look into the table. We are given three different columns, parking level, number of vehicles and number of wheels. So that is the heading of the table. So parking levels, correct, number of vehicles and number of wheels. So these are our columns. Now if you see the pattern, parking levels are 9, 8, 7. So that means they could go down like 6, 5, 4. So the pattern here is in parking level, it is going down by once it's minus one each time do you see that that's the pattern now let's look into number of vehicles number of vehicles with every level going down is from 90 goes to 130 and then from 130 to 170 hmm. so it is increasing well it is increasing by how much so you could do 130 take away 90 and then that is 40 okay and how about 170 take away 130 that is also 40 correct so what we did was we did 130 take away 90 and we got 40 and then we did 170 take away 130 we again got 40 so that means it is increasing by 40 right so in the first case the pattern is decreasing by 1 here we have increasing by 40 now what is happening in the last case which is the number of wheels okay let us check so when you go up the number of wheels are increasing by how much so let us figure it out 520 take away 360 okay so it is 12 take away 6 is 6 and 4 take away 3 is 160 so this is you add I mean you should do plus 160 okay and next time again it is 680 minus 520 so 0 6 and 1 again it is 160 so in the third case number of wheels increase by 160 each time right so that is the pattern which we observe. Can you also find out a pattern between number of vehicles and wheels? That means if you go from here to there, well, every car has four wheels, it seems. So 40, 90 times 4 is 360, so it is times 4. So that is another way of relating these two columns. So number of wheels is four times the number of vehicles. So these are different patterns which we observe in the given information. Now the question is, explain the patterns and then find the number of wheels at level 4. So we need to find level 4 number of wheels. This is what we need to find. How can you do that? That is the question for you. So you can actually pause the video and find different ways of getting this answer. Well, let's figure it out. So one way is we could go by number of vehicles then multiply by 4 or we could go by number of wheels and get the answer. Either way it works, correct? So keep on adding 160 to get the numbers for level 6, 5 and then for 4 or you could increase by 40 and then multiply by 4. So you true this way I'll do that way and then let us see what our answer is so if I add 40 that means plus 40 what do I get so 0 4 plus 7 is 11 so we get 210 now again if I add 40 I get 0 4 plus 1 is 5 250 and again if I add 40 because I have to go to fourth level so 0, 4, 9 and 290. Right. That is one thing. Now I can multiply 290. So we have got 290 times 4. 
to get here, right? So it's 0. 4 times 9 is 36. 4 times 2 is 8. 9, 10, 11. 11, 60 is our answer. Is that okay? So this is one way of finding number of wheels at level 4. The other way is, of course, you could keep on adding 160, right? So do plus 160, plus 160, and then again 160, and then check. Do you really get the same answer, right? So that is how you could actually find or solve such a question. I'm Anil Kumar. You can subscribe and share my videos. Thank you and all the best.